welcome to html4 video series and this is part 26 and we have done so far following input types and today we're going to focus on the checkbox and let's see what we can do with that so i'm going to open list number 26 this is my final copy and you can see i have one checkbox in here right so i'm gonna create something like this i know we have jumped directly from address to checkbox so it's fine no biggie so what are we going to do is we're going to make some changes within the system so let me open the game plan first this is our agenda and let's start with the index and let's open the notepad and as usual i'm going to copy the same old thing again and I'm going to paste in here and the only difference is over here if you look at the design what we have over here the control is over here most of the time you can see the control is on the right hand side but in this case the control is on the left hand side so over here we will be having a text and I'll say I agree to your terms and conditions blah 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 leave it and over here I'll be putting a control that would be like input type and that would be is equal to checkbox make sure the spelling is correct close it down and the name of this checkbox is going to be chk agree okay and the value is going to be okay some something like that but I'm tell I'm gonna tell you why I did that but let me hit the refresh I mean you got the idea right I have created one more row within the first row I have created a checkbox the way how we create the checkbox is using the type is equal to checkbox and then you can assign the name okay and in the end this is my content which will appear on the to my page right so anyways this is a final copy let me get the real copy and you can see you are seeing something right I agree to your terms and blah 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 and you can see the control is over here right so let's do something about this I'll say TD align whoops align equal to right alt FS as you have seen how table works so this control has moved and it looks a bit nice okay so we have done the checkbox right and there are certain properties disabled now you guys are very much aware I'm not gonna do the disable disable means the dude is gone it's not coming back and there's one more property called as checked if I use the check property check property I mean in my terms it's property in real term it is the attribute if I say checked is equal to again checked I'm not sure if this is the case it's true or false let's see what it shows so you can see if I say check is equal to check so by default this guy will be on <coughs> right and this guy uh, this check property uh, has a very big significance when you submit your form okay you are seeing the form over here when you submit your form if this guy is unchecked then whatever value this guy is holding right now which is okay is not gonna go to the server okay so that's very important where to use this control or not for example let me prove it to you right away I'll be putting one more TR quickly let's close the TR quickly and let's bring in the TD and close the TD let's say call span is equal to two basically I'm occupying two rows and I'm saying submit information and okay whatever it was now don't be scared don't be alarmed this is a normal input type tag and I'm saying submit submit this is one of the type where I instruct uh, my you know uh, uh, browser that I am going to make a post button submit and this is the name and this is the value what it should look like value submit information and let's close this okay so input is closed let me go outside and let me hit the refresh okay so I have a button right now and you can see the URL is very clean right and now over here are a few things to check okay make sure you remember this guy chk agree because when I'm going to hit this button over here 
what you're seeing over here this guy is gonna change you will be seeing something like this okay 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 now I am going to do this submit with this check on so when I do the submit you see some mess has occurred on the top so let me take care of that and let's analyze what's that so you can see you can see something has posted back and it says text username is equal to some content and you will be looking like okay I had some content over here which was the same which is gone right now but I have in the over here password was something like this uh, uh, address you can see whatever default it's there but the very important thing is check agree was the name of my control right and it holds the value okay you see it holds the value as okay now let's do the reverse like I said what's gonna happen is now this is the case I'm gonna do RTR TR, and this is going to be same now I'm not checking this guy I'm unchecking this guy and I'm submitting let's see now what do we have here now over here the things have been changed if you look at the notepad and if you try to look at the structure this is usual txt username which has the content is equal to something like this that you can see where is that control I'm sorry open with notepad so you can see the value of txt user password everything in here but over here the important thing is if you look at here this control is missing there is no trace of this control in here you cannot see anything here so let me make sure that I am right okay so control F control V nope nothing found let's go up nothing found so you got the idea right my point is if you don't check the box if you don't check the box then whatever value which is associated with this control will not be passed on to the server so you need to make sure when to use this control alright so I hope this video gives you an idea how to use the checkbox and what are the properties what we discussed the check and the value you just saw you can assign a default or you can take it from yourself dynamically okay so this is done so thank you for watching this video and good night and take care